Uh, okay, so um, I just remembered that it's time to take out the amaryllises. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, there's a hole in the ceiling. Uh, ignore that, that's going away soon. So I chose this pot, which I already had. That's the dog. We just went outside and he's all wet. Cutie. Anyway, um, so this is the Christmas gift and this is the Minerva that I had from last year. They did pretty well, they made little uh, smaller bulbs, baby bulbs. Um, so if I'm gonna put it in this though, I think I need three of them. And I'm gonna go out to the store now. That's the other dog. I'm gonna go out to the store now and pick up another one and probably some potting soil and some other stuff. So, I am now at home, and I want to show you what I got. So I got this apple blossom amaryllis, and I got that at Canadian Tire. And then I also got another one, which is this red one. And the reason I got the red one was because I had already purchased the pink one, but then I was thinking about it. And Christmas gift is like a white colored amaryllis, and... Um, the Minerva is like a red and white, so probably the trio that makes the most sense is to have a red one as well. And hopefully it is pure red, so I think this one's called Lion Red. Anyway, um, you know, hopefully I'll acquire some more amaryllises over time, but this is just all I picked up for now. Um, I'm probably going to have to find another pot for this one, so that's probably not going to happen today. But it is really pretty, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, red is not a color that I typically go for, but in amaryllises, for whatever reason, I think it's probably the best color. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to plant these three bulbs in here. So I just wanted to mention that uh, this one has a nice little new bulb forming, which is why I chose this one. Uh, I had to look in all the boxes because some of them were really awful, um, but this one seemed okay. It's quite a lot smaller than my other two bulbs, but bearing in mind the Minerva I've had for three or more years and the Christmas gift is now on its second year, uh, with me at least. So they're pretty big. This one's very small in comparison. Okay, now, so here they are all planted. All the soil will eventually become the same, even moisture. Uh, I put it in this extremely well-used uh, plant tray. Also, I probably need to do a little bit of cleanup around the edges of the pot, because I use this for annuals in the summer, and yes, clearly I didn't clean it up quite well enough. But anyway, there you have it. So what we have here is the red lion, then this is the Minerva, and the Christmas gift is this side. So when I'm watching this back to remember what I uh, put where, that is the organization that I should be looking for. All right, so that's the end of the video. Um, my dogs are fighting, uh, playing, of course. And um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the Amaryllis video. Amaryllis is not my favorite, but it certainly is something I look forward to every year, especially since they've been sort of looking kind of dingy downstairs in the cellar. Uh, it's not really a cellar, I guess, a basement. Um, and I was just looking forward to getting them spruced up again. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.